Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have to arrange the following CaH2, BH2, TiH2 in order of increasing electrical conductance. So for this hydrides, I know the property that my ionic hydrides conduct, right? Covalent hydrides don't conduct, metallic hydrides also conduct, so I'll write metallic and ionic hydrides conduct. So let's see CaH2, CaH2 is what, CaH2 is ionic, okay, this is nothing but CaH2 plus H2 minus ionic. So it will connect electricity. Talk about BH2. BH2. This is actually covalent. It also is electron deficient actually. It's covalent, so it won't conduct. And if I talk about TiH2, it will also conduct. So it will also conduct. It is metallic actually. It will also conduct. Now the question is between TiH2 and uh, CaH2. Since this is ionic, it has to be in the molten form or it has to be in the solution form to conduct. But this guy TiH2 can conduct in room temperature itself. So if you talk about the conductivity, this guy always conducts. So this guy is max TiH2. The next is CaH2 because it conducts when it is in the molten state or it is in the solution state. And then BH2 because it doesn't conduct. This is the order. Right. Let's take another question. LIH, NAH, and CSH in order of increasing ionic character. So, increasing ionic character, if you see, if I have lithium, I have sodium, I have potassium, we go down the group, you see ionic character increases down the why because see sodium can easily lose one electron potassium can lose one electron more easily right because the atomic size is increasing we have learned this in the atom chapter right so since the size is increasing you can lose electron more easily so since uh, if you go down the group it is more electronegative or ionic character is increasing right because the electronegativity is increasing the size of atom is increasing you can lose electron easily so we can say that uh, if you talk about the ionic character my CSH will have a maximum ionic, then I have NaH, less ionic, I'll make small plus and minus, and then I have LiH, all the more less ionic. So this guy is very, very ionic, this guy is less, this guy is all the more less. Correct? Why? Because if you go down the group, uh, the tendency of uh, this guy, uh, my uh, elements to lose electron is all the more. So electronegativity is increasing. This we have learned in the atom chapter, and the same principle applies. So here you have to arrange the following: HHDD and FF in order of increasing bond dissociation enthalpy. So I know that uh, my this D is smaller than H. And the bond enthalpy of D is more bond enthalpy of D is more than H. So if you compare D and H, so D D has to be greater than H H. Correct. Now let's talk about fluorine. Here's a fluorine. If you see, I have fluorines, and you have six here. I'm just drawing the Lewis structure. There's a huge repulsion between the electrons. Right? There is a huge repulsion. If this repulsion is a little unstable, so this will be less than least. So bond dissociation enthalpy is something which we have seen also for uh, DD it is more because the size of DD is smaller than HS. So this is the order. The next is reducing property. See for reducing property you just find the oxidation number first. NaH oxidation state of hydrogen is minus 1. MgH2 oxidation state is minus 1. H2O plus 1. Right? If you don't know how to find, use the watch the video of redox reaction where we have talked about oxidation state. So H2O is least because see reducing property means that means they themselves want to get oxidized. So that means these two wants to get oxidized to plus one state and this is already in plus one so this will be the least actually. Right? Now we have to deal with sodium and magnesium. Now you see sodium is more electronegative. 
then magnesium correct so that will be first because sodium will easily want to become na plus it always is going to break first so and then h minus will be free it will become h2 easily correct because sodium has a more tendency to becomes na plus this will be the most uh, reactive hydride correct let me read once again nah mgh2 and then h2 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again